got a story for you folks. It's back when I was 19 and I got salmonella. Mm. I was in India at the time on my gap yard. Not as classy as Birmingham, but it'll do. Um, I was there with my then girlfriend. See if you can spot, as we go along, where we went wrong as a couple, okay? We'd been there about a month. She got quite homesick, wanted a taste of home. Fair enough. I let her choose the restaurant. She chooses a deserted restaurant in India called Pizza Nut. <laughs> One or two red flags emerge. The next day, we've both come down with fairly violent diarrhea. Now, for those of you that don't know, there is a simple but significant difference between diarrhea and violent diarrhea, okay? <laughs> diarrhea, you'll feel the gurgle. We know the gurgle. You'll get a bit of untrustworthy gas, but you have time to excuse yourself from polite company and very carefully make your way to the facilities. Violent diarrhea, that stomach gurgle, is a 10-second alarm telling you to find the nearest loo, bin, or unaccompanied bag to release fiery hell into. Cut to two days post Pizza Nut Gate. We are on a train, Hyderabad to Varanasi, 28 hours. We are four hours in. I lay on my bunk. The then girlfriend is asleep below me. <laughs> yeah, easy. I feel the gurgle. I think, right, time to go. Jump down from the bunk to the floor. In that time, I managed to simultaneously piss and shit my pants. <laughs> Just starting. I'll say now I'm wearing my Cuban Solidarity T-shirt, blue, green flip-flops, white shorts. <laughs> it's that real dickhead traveller chic look, you know, beard, bond hair. We'll be wandering around India going, oh, this beautiful place. I feel such a connection to the people, the history, the culture. Oh, a connection, is it? Could that be your family connection to imperialist plunderers? But no, 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 don't worry, mate, because you're over there teaching English in a school, and that's nice, isn't it? It's not like there's already English speakers. In fact, it's an official language in India, so there's plenty of other people that could teach that class and probably do with the sustained fucking employment. You white saviour knob! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Where was I... Where was I? Oh, yes, my open arsehole, right? So I look down, and the once white shorts have turned into a sort of yellowy, greeny, brown colour, which was quite alarming, yeah, and it's getting so bad, it's seeping down my leg. Stay with me. To my feet. So every step I take, my flip-flops are flinging fecal fluid all over the fucking walls of this train, right? It is a mess. But don't worry, at the end of the carriage, there is a toilet. Sanctuary, right, is four to five loose farts away. We're going to be fine. But no sooner had I seen the toilet, a cold sweat breaks out across my forehead. A sure sign that vomit is on its way. The first team, I managed to clamp my jaw shut, looking around a little bit panicked. Am I about to piss, puke and poo on public transport <laughs> in the space of five minutes? The second heave. <laughs> I employ the hand over the mouth technique. It works fine, but the sensation of the sick swilling around in my mouth generated a third and fatal. <laughs> I mean, it's gone everywhere. My beard, my T-shirt, all over my hands. And I'm still trying to edge down the train, repainting as I go. <laughs> When the carriage door opposite me flies open and three sweet, innocent children come running down towards me. Honestly, it was like slow motion. I locked eyes on the first one and threw a really dodgy dummy to get him out of the way. But the second one was too close behind, so I had to try and fend the fucker in the face. <laughs> but my hand was so covered in my own sick, right, that he literally slipped through my fingers, slams into my stomach. I bend double. My bowels complete the evacuation procedure. I burst into tears, and I've forgotten about the third child. Who runs straight into brown ground zero? Hey, come on, guys. Look, I've not committed a crime. If anything, I've not consented to this happening, right? So I abandon the kids, high step into the loo, shut the door, sanctuary. Now, sanctuary in that moment was a hole in the floor, a leaky tap in the corner, and an Ivion bottle chopped in half in place of paper, right? And I'm starting to worry. 
because I've got like a full job to do. <laughs> so strip off, and as soon as I get my kicks off, there's a knock at the door. I'm thinking, oh, who's that? Open up, toilet man. Oh, fucking hell, the fucking kids are fucking grass, fuck's sake. <laughs> so I open the door a little. There's Vomhead, who faced the third, and Mum, who's not as angry as I was expecting, quite happy, in fact, reaches through with a cup, hands it to me, goes, drink this. It is a lassie. It's like a yoghurt. A lassie. It is good for the stomach. I take it off. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really, very kind of you. <laughs> Down that, finish the job, squelch my shorts back on, and make my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Make my way back down the now silent carriage, having just witnessed the scene that's taken place. Now, before I climb back into my bunk and spend the next day crying, I take my shit-covered boxes and... Get down next to my still sleeping girlfriend and just slip the boxes under her pillow. Yeah. Just as she wakes up from the first whiff of shit, I lean in good and close and go, Fucking pizza nut! (laughs) We weren't together by the end of the journey. (laughs) 